Sometimes I get better at singing Sometimes it feels a lot like the weekend I do my best thinking When I'm drinking And welcome to Line Drunk. Before I, introduce my, oh, well, <laughs> before I introduce my next guest, I'm very excited about this, but if you have not watched Claim to Fame, stop what you're doing right now and go watch the episodes. There's 10. It's on Hulu. Go watch it. Because we're going to have spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> it aired in July. So my guest is Pepper. Should I say your last name too? Yes, go for it. Spoiler. Right. <laughs> this is Pepper Martin. Hello. Okay, so we will talk about Broad City because that's what you chose to watch tonight. But yes. first of all, what are you drinking? Tonight I made myself, I didn't have time to go get all fun stuff for a themed cocktail, um, but I had everything I needed to make a martini. Very dirty, very dirty. <laughs> is that one of your top drinks? It is. I, it kind of took me a while to get into drinking them because the vodka taste is so strong and then I learned like oh dirty means just a lot and a lot of olive juice and I was like that's that's delicious so that got me to like it is all that olive juice <laughs> and we also chatted earlier you could choose better vodka uh, I know I know <laughs> I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it <laughs> I could send you some I would um, oh, I know liquor laws Right. Well, <laughs> next time you're back in Texas, because you were in Austin. Yes, and I'm going to be back. I loved it so much. Um, I do go to a TV festival every year in Austin. Okay, I think you were telling me about that on Instagram. Yeah, you should totally come to that sometime. I will. They haven't, <laughs> no, they did announce the creator of Cheers will be there this year. That's oh, cool. So far. I have been to the bar Cheers. My boyfriend is from Boston, so we went there super briefly, did a little walk around the town, and we got to go in there for a second. It was really cool. That's fun. Yeah. Okay, so we will talk a little bit about, and then we'll talk more about it, but Claim to Fame, mm -hmm. you were on there. Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> and who is your Claim to Fame? My claim to fame is my grandfather, Dean Martin. Okay, so I have two stories about, well, I guess one story is about your grandfather. One is about uh, the Rat Pack in general. Okay, let me hear them. <laughs> okay, so I told you I grew up in Vegas. But before mm -hmm. we went out to Vegas, we would go visit a lot. And we went to the Ethel M Chocolate Factory. Okay. I doubt the guy's still there because he's probably dead by now. But there was... <laughs> There was, a, I know, right? <laughs> Amy Davis Jr. impersonator that would be out there all the time. Cool. <laughs> the other story. So I went on a cruise. It was my parents' 40th anniversary, and we went to Alaska. So okay. my sister and I went to, they had a um, art gallery thing. I don't know. Just different artists, art that you could buy and purchase and mm -hmm. bid on. So the first piece that popped up, I was the only one that bid on it. The only one. Okay. And then after okay. I, like, you got the best one. And I was like, well, you could have bid too. And they said, we're not going to bid after you bid because nobody wanted to speak up. So, <laughs> this is what I have. Oh my gosh. How cool. I love that photo. Right? I, yes. I definitely have that photo somewhere too, hanging up in my childhood home. Oh, how fun. Okay, and what's next to it? Some cards? Um, two cards from the Sands Hotel. I okay, how cool. That's what I'm like. And is that all their signatures? All their signatures. <gasps> how cool. What a fun item to come upon. Right? How cool. And it was all framed like that, ready to go? Yeah, they mailed it to me like this. Wow, how cool. Oh, Love yeah. that. So what I was excited connection. that that would be your grandfather is Dean Martin. Yeah, I love that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
my sister, she texted me and she goes, did you tell me about the show? And I was like, yeah, I think so. So we would watch <laughs> it and then text or call each other and try to take guesses on who was who. Mm-hmm. Did you guys do a good job? <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking if I watched it, I don't know how good I would have done. I mean, like as an audience member, like I would be tempted to Google everyone, but I know people watching did a really good job of not doing that. And that's what I appreciated that the show, like you got to play along with the show. Yep. Me too. And I feel like they, they didn't know how they wanted to really do that at first. Like if they wanted to just, you know, put us all out there and not really have the audience play. But after for the first few episodes came out it was like really apparent that the audience really just wanted they were like don't tell us anyone like this is really fun right so I love that yeah and the first episode was shocking <laughs> yeah let's not talk about it. <laughs> just kidding weren't you relieved oh my gosh so relieved but I mean I also went in there and I was like okay I'm not expecting to do amazing I have no idea like how the show's going to go down, what the challenges are, what the rules are. So I wasn't like giving myself too hard of a time to do amazing. But once you're up there and that happened, it was like, oh, wow. Okay. And I was so glad I wasn't the first one to go home. (laughs) Because somebody broke the rules. (laughs) And thank God. (laughs) Because you would have gone home. Yep. Right back to the to the hotel because we had to stay there for the whole three weeks. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not the worst place to go, but did he, did he go no. home? Because he didn't show back up for the last episode. You know, I you'd have to ask the producers on that one because I don't know the rules. I really don't know where he went. <laughs> I don't know his name, but Maxwell. Thought, <laughs> Maxwell. Everyone thought he was related yeah. to to uh, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> And he kind yeah, of did other like, people think that, or was that just me? <laughs> no, I think everybody thought that. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> because all the clues on the board, but he mm-hmm. was not. He looked like, no. a, like a Spielberg. <laughs> well, that makes me feel a little bit better that other people thought that too. He did not look like, um, uh, oh my gosh, why did I go blank? Um, Chuck Norris. Not at all. So funny though. When his picture popped up on the screen, all of us were just like, What? what we were all we all kind of got like a vibe of how the show was gonna be right after that we were like okay like chuck norris right out the gate here we go (laughs) so after everyone guessed and the person went home did you guys go back inside and drink yes so the drinking was actually pretty funny on the show we there was booze around and uh you know when the eliminations rolled around everyone was kind of ready for a cocktail um but it wasn't like a lot of other reality shows where you can tell that like alcohol is very like heavily involved because they want the drama they want the yelling and the screaming but they weren't really wanting that from us so um we kept it pretty pretty pg but um on nights when we knew that the cameras were going to be going pretty early we were allowed to unwind (laughs) so who drank the most on the show Okay, so we had a good mix, like half the house were non drinkers or decided to, you know, not drink because, you know, we were going to be on TV. And then half of us, you know, really enjoyed a cocktail. So it was like me, uh, Logan, whose birthday is today, by the way. Happy birthday, Logie. (laughs) Yes. Um, So me, Logan, Amara, love to drink. Love you, Amara. Um, Louise. LC like to get into a little bit and Lark we actually celebrated Lark's birthday in the house and I have a funny funny behind the scenes story I could tell for the next time I come on but um (laughs) it's a little long (laughs) little teaser yep (laughs) oh okay so we'll go back to the show later but let's go on to Broad City yes okay I had never watched the show before Okay. <laughs> How would you like it? <laughs> it was funny. I was like, oh, okay. You're like, this exists. <laughs> so would you like to give a brief synopsis of the show since you've watched the entire series, I'm guessing? Sure. Yes. So Broad City is about Abby and Alana. They are best friends who live in New York City. Um, 
And it's kind of like, a, I would say when I first saw previews for it, I was like, oh, this is like a girl version of Workaholics. Like it looked, it seemed like to me, like very weird. Like they, they're, they like get stoned a lot, just like doing weird stuff. Um, so that's kind of what I thought of it at first. I was like, hey, this looks fun. Um, and it is very much the girl version of Workaholics. They just get into very funny, random situations. Um, I've never been to New York, but um, obviously it's a- That's surprising. Really? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I really have not traveled a lot around the US or outside really, but I'm very much a, a West Coast gal haven't been around the east a lot yeah um but they just get into some funny stuff in new york just being two very weird girls i don't know <laughs> i will say this and this may be unpopular opinion I yes <laughs> chicago over new york okay i don't think that's an unpopular opinion i've also never been to chicago i highly recommend it Yes, I have friends who live out there, and it looks amazing and sounds amazing. I've gone twice. Okay. I'd rather go in March than in July. Is it hot? July, I was drenched in sweat and had to go back okay. to my hotel room to shower. Because okay, shower. humidity. So humid. Yep. It okay, I'm into, like, I'm into the humidity. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I love it. Cool. Right. Here, Utah is so, I guess you know this from Vegas, but Vegas and Utah, it's so dry. And I'm like, okay I just that. feel like a crust. I hate it. <laughs> you no, know, I don't like being drenched all the time. Yeah, I get it. I guess I didn't, I just embrace it. I'm like, okay. I guess, I don't know, like I go to Austin <laughs> every year and it's always so hot and I'm just so mm -hmm. waiting in line outside. I'm just like, <laughs> ready for AC. But yeah, uh, Chicago is a cleaner version of New York. Okay. That's cheaper, easier to get around, and better food. Ooh, okay. Good to know. That may be my opinion, but. Love it. I will say. I will note it. <laughs> <laughs> We've done this before. We're doing it again this year. We're having deep dish pizza from Chicago for uh, Christmas dinner. For Christmas dinner. Love yeah. that. Why make it fancy? That's what I'm saying. Make it easy. No stress. Put it in the Wait, oven. I love that. And then put it in the oven. Ah, love it. Takes you're like smart. Mm -hmm. And then you're good to go. Great. Okay. So broad city. Okay. So we <laughs> chose season one, episode one, the pilot episode. Yes. Ready for your first trivia question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name like, of the episode? The name of the episode is... A wonderful world. What a wonderful word. world. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and how does the episode open? Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> it opens. Alana it FaceTimes Abby, and they're talking, chilling for a second, and Abby realizes that Alana is, like, on top of her boyfriend. <laughs> like having sex there is that yes <laughs> yeah. yeah and she's like is he inside of you <laughs> so bad that was not the answer I was looking for but that did happen <laughs> <laughs> what was the answer you were looking for that there was a sticky note that says Tuesday 7 a.m on her vibrator that she was playing oh my gosh her. yes Abby has to remind herself when to masturbate that's so funny <laughs> Okay, so this was 2014. Did you FaceTime okay. a lot in 2014? Because I don't think I did. Um, maybe, let's see. What was like the mobile device in 2014? iPhone. I think there was still the iPhone. Yeah, I think maybe we were getting into FaceTime because everyone was like, oh, we have this new smartphone. We can do it all from, all from the iPhone. So maybe, yeah, I feel like actually maybe not over our phone so much, but it was like, it was like this. Right. Yeah. Did you FaceTime in an awkward situation? Computer face. Um, no, I don't think I would ever FaceTime someone the way that Alana FaceTimed Abby. Yeah, I would hope not. <laughs> no. <laughs> A little TMI right there. 
Okay. And Alana wanted Abby to go out and Abby's excuse for not going out was what? She had to catch up on some show. What was the show? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Let me think. <laughs> she said something about a cashew stir fry. Um, damages? That's correct. She had a, <laughs> <laughs> She was close to finishing season one of Damages. I'm cracking up that I'm knowing these. Okay. <laughs> no, that's good. Then you don't have to drink as much. <laughs> oh, wait. I should start getting some wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Alana's boyfriend, she uh, Abby said he was looking good. And what was his reasoning? Um, <laughs> oh, no bread. No bread. <laughs> no bread diet. <laughs> Lincoln. I can't. <laughs> yeah, well, right. I eat too many and tortillas. Pasta too, bad. <laughs> okay, so what was the name of the job or the company that Abby worked for? Oh, the gym? Solstice. <laughs> Have you done soul cycling before? Okay, no. Not in like a big, like at a gym like that, but I did take... Um, Oh, what year of college? Soft, sophomore, junior year, I took a spin class as like one of my like athletic credits. And I like had to go like take like do spin like two to three days a week. And it was awesome. Actually, I was looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pass the class? Yes. Oh, what if I failed? How embarrassing. <laughs> no, that's okay. I took walking and I took bowling, I think, in college. <gasps> How fun. I used to have, me and my sisters loved to bowl when we were little and my dad and mom got us like our own custom like child bowling balls you that had that. our names on them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I probably couldn't bowl with them. They're like seven pounds. <laughs> okay. But how funny would that be if you went for Christmas and you all brought them and you went bowling with them? Oh, that'd be actually really cute. <laughs> Got to go dig them out of storage. <laughs> you should do it. <laughs> Okay, so two at, at Alana's job. Yeah. Okay. Two things were mentioned in the meeting of ideas. Okay. Do you remember what the two ideas were? I'm trying to think of her weird ass boss, the class. <laughs> uh, something about enemas? Oh. <laughs> What's on your mind? <laughs> hey, the, you you can see the show is weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, not that. Maybe oh, this is hard. Later season. I think so. I think so. <laughs> Maybe just the next episode. Um, oh, I'm trying to think. I don't know this one. I'm going to pass. Okay. So underwater massage. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> the other one. Stupid was DIY vajazzling seminars. Oh, damn, I knew, okay. Enema, vajazzling seminars. It's kind of along the same. Okay, darn, I have to drink now. <laughs> hmm. Oh no. What's oh, that's mask? good. Um, it's like a crest. Is it a family crest or did you steal the glass somewhere? No, I think this is like a thrift store glass. It has like a nice family's name on the back. <laughs> <Okay>. Love it. <laughs> um, I'm looking at my notes. Okay, so okay. I did write this quote down and I thought it was funny. She okay. said, don't black swan me. When she was like, just showed up the mirror. <laughs> Yes, and I love the movie Black Swan. <laughs> I did not, but it was very awkward to watch it. <laughs> did you see it like when it came out? I did in theaters. Okay, because yeah, um, at that time it was like very like what? <laughs> yeah, I saw it with my mom's teacher friend. It was very awkward. Oh, yeah, not not the vibe. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no. I thought I was into that movie. Because I did ballet when I was younger, but I mean, the movie's like barely about ballet, but um, love me Lacunas in that. Such kind of a random role for her. 
it was cool. I do like her. Yeah, she's great. So wait, what are some of your favorite movies? Oh gosh, I love, okay, this is going to sound kind of silly, but I love Moulin Rouge. It's one okay. of my favorite movies. Um, I love the movie Spring Breakers okay, with Selena like and Ashley Benson. You did it? No, it I mean, I thought awkward. it awkward. It was I, like, <laughs> I mean, I guess okay. I really like these awkward movies. And I had no idea what it was about. I just, I loved Pretty Little Liars. And I was like, cool, I'll go watch Ashley Benson in it. Because Ashley Benson, yep. It was weird. I, was I mean, like, yes. Why are these four <laughs> hot women attracted to this really ugly dude? And then they have like right. sex in the pool. And then they, yep. like, it's very weird. It makes no sense. <laughs> and then he just dies at the end. Like, oh, okay, bye. And then I'm like, Selena Gomez's mom told her to do this movie. Like, what was her mom thinking? I love how Selena Gomez's character too, just like wusses out so early on in the movie. She's like, I can't. <laughs> She's like, I can't play pool with these guys. I don't think I'd want to. <laughs> they looked nice. Did they? Spending spring break with uh, his name is. <laughs> yeah, his name was Alien. Yeah. What's his name? James Franco. <laughs> maybe that's but yeah, I love like that movie. movie. Maybe, maybe they were like, ooh. <laughs> James Franco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I don't know. I love, I get like um obsessed with like movies that I watch like recently. Um a movie that I just watched on the plane to Texas was Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. And yeah. I liked that a lot. It was really good. And it kind of had a Spring Breakers vibe. Maybe not like not so much, but the, the colors, the colors and like the darkness was kind of similar. Okay. Not very similar movie, but um, it was good. It was very like... Um, the humor was very like Gen Z and millennial heavy. So like some of the jokes were like a little bit cringe, but if you took a second to think about it, you're like, wait, no, that's actually hilarious because we're, we're so like superficial and shallow and stuff like that, like really hurts our feelings. And they used a lot of that in the movie and it was, it was good. It was smart. <laughs> oh, cancel culture. Yep. <laughs> okay. Next trivia question. All right. Where were the tickets to see Lil Wayne? $200? That's what they needed. That was how much. Okay. They needed $200. They needed $200. Okay. $200. Hey, stop that. Sorry. You let me know if she gets like too, way too annoying. That's fine. Um, Audi. Okay, they needed two hundred dollars. Was it two seventy five? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much it was. The tickets were fifty dollars yeah. each. Which, okay, to see a little way to New York, like I feel like that's really crappy seats. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or like where was he playing? Like some sh show where people weren't supposed to know. <laughs> sitting I don't know we need two hundred dollars for the food and drinks okay I remember yeah because she was talking to the girl and she's like booze is gonna be this this body <laughs> apartment life <laughs> hey, um okay but you have like a nice home for Airbnb <laughs> yes <laughs> so the Airbnb is like the guest cabin of the house where I grew up and my mom lives in that house right now. And it's like an hour away from the city. So it's a cute place to live, but not for what I want to do. Okay. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, love apartments. <laughs> okay. So what a wonderful war was brought up. Mm -hmm. What band or band? Group, we'll go with the group. What group did she bring up about singing What a Wonderful World? <laughs> And how it was a racist song. <laughs> oh my God. Was that when they're standing in the line at the to return the office supplies? Yes. Oh my God. 
I know this conversation is so funny. And then they walk up in the reception, <laughs> like the checkout girl is like, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. You want to know what she says, like why it is? What group does she mention? Oh my God. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. You get to drink. She mentions the Fugees. And then she repeats like him singing What a Wonderful World. <laughs> oh my God, not the foodies. <laughs> oh, the okay, food. that's good. <laughs> yeah, and then she like yeah. does the voice. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you should do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then they walk up and that comedian who is the, the cashier, I think her name is Phoebe something. I don't know her last name, but she's like a funny, she's a funny comedian. And that was like a funny, random little like cameo of hers. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, really do the Fugees. I think the Fugees had a song. I want to say in like, oh, two, maybe. Mm-hmm. But then it never, like the album never happened. Oh, no. Okay, so have you ever had a bad roommate? Um, so my freshman year. Yeah, what were you gonna say? <laughs> this was brought up because of her Abby's roommate's boyfriend. Because of Bevers. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um so didn't have a situation like that, like never had like a squatting like boyfriend or anything. But um my freshman year of college, I lived um in my little dorm with seven other girls three bedrooms two bathrooms and one of our roommates was our like florist RA so like actually lived in the apartment with us in like the room with us and so it was cool because we like could break some rules because like we had the RA living with us but it was also the opposite as well like you couldn't do too much because the RA lives with you like yeah so that was never too bad but just the whole like having to live with seven girls in that tiny tiny space was just so much all of our classes like stacking with each other who got to use the shower who was using the mirror you know the hair dryer all this stuff um that was a lot and after that I moved after that one year in the dorms I moved downtown and uh lived by myself (laughs) for the rest of the time (laughs) literally went from seven roommates to zero I was like I'm good I know living alone's the best um seven girls with two bathrooms is a good idea right um the Santa Barbara housing I guess (laughs) It was a, uh, it was an experience. So where'd you go to college at? So I went to Santa Barbara City College, but the dorms, they weren't technically like the city college didn't have their own housing, but they could recommend where to go. And so they like outsourced us to some of the dorms that would house the UCSB students. So it was cool. Like I went to the city college, but I got to meet and hang out with all of the kids that were going to the university. So I loved it. I'd move back there in two seconds. And what did you major in? So I majored in environmental studies and art history. Okay. Please don't ask me any questions pertaining to I. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I feel that. Because <laughs> it's not up there anymore. <laughs> I'm working on my third degree and I'm like, I don't know anything. Oh, geez. School, man. It wasn't my vibe. Um, I'm only doing it because Uber pays for it. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. If they didn't pay for it, I would not be getting a third degree. I don't need a third one. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Next trivia question. Okay. What number, number was the apartment that Abby's neighbor lived in? Oh shit, these are hard. <laughs> Jer, Jeremy. Did you do the drinking game? No. Okay. Shit, okay. 
I don't even know what number she lives in. Do you know what floor they live on? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't, that's so weird. This is the, You're making this, me look at this a whole new way now. I'm like, okay, I need to start paying attention to this stuff. <laughs> no. Okay, yeah, no. Now you get to drink. Okay, yeah. I just good, pay attention to cool. have good cool. questions. <laughs> It should be empty by the time. Um, yeah, you're right. Even four F. Four F. See, I was about to say a number. Nope. I'm guessing she was probably in four D. Only guessing that okay. because another door I saw said four E on it. Oh, next to his or to her other one to her so door. Like her apartment was on one side, then his door was on the other side, and then at the end of the hall was a third. Another one. Apartment. Okay. So I'm guessing 4D, 4F. D-E-F. Cool. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to start paying way more attention to stuff like that. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I am. Okay. <laughs> you ready for next time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, I, had exactly. to write, I had to write this quote down. Okay. <laughs> about, about her roommate. When you're ready to become a citizen, my legs are wide open. <laughs> And he goes, I don't really think that's how it works, but thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, May. I love him. He's one of my favorite characters. He seems like a very understanding roommate. <laughs> oh, you'd have to be if you lived with a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, too good. My legs are wide open. <laughs> That's probably not something. And he's like, anyway. and he's like so so gay too. So he's like, what? <laughs> like no, thank you. <laughs> uh, and he orders pizza later. <laughs> um, have you ever played a bucket drum? No. <laughs> <laughs> have you wanted to? <laughs> not per se. <laughs> I mean, I. But... Have I don't think I'd be very good. I just like that that girl started dancing and then took all the money. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're taking over our, okay. <laughs> They're like, tip us too. <laughs> okay, so who played the baby, a.k.a. David? Whose house they go clean? Yes. That's Fred Armisen, baby, and I love that man. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday Night Live, uh, Portlandia. I just love him. He is a freak. <laughs> that clip or that scene was weird, like in general. Uh, he literally, like, that's the reason why I think I love that episode is because it does such a good job, like, you know, giving us Abby and Alana, like, in their characters. And then there were so many weird little moments. And then that was just kind of like the cherry on top. Like, like what did I just watch? Like, like so good. So good. Ask for the money first. <laughs> I'm a little baby. <laughs> I'm guessing you have not cleaned a house for $200 in your Oh, idea. no. I should start maybe saying I do that when I clean my Airbnb and people will charge I'll charge more <laughs> only fans <laughs> just clean for the only fans nothing else <laughs> nothing else uh too good my god see I was gonna ask you the craziest thing you've seen in New York but since you haven't been to New York I can't ask that I know and I'm trying to think of like the craziest city I've been to and I literally I'm so I'm not very well traveled it's a little bit sad. <laughs> that is kind of sad. I mean, there yeah. are crazy things in LA. Yeah. I actually, I don't know why I said it like that. I do really <laughs> like LA. <laughs> it's freaky, but I like it. <laughs> it is freaky. I mm -hmm. once saw a homeless man having an argument with himself. He got mad mm -hmm. that he lost and grabbed his stuff and ran away. Oh. Well, like, at, least, <laughs> at least he got out of there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so okay. <laughs> what did the note say next? The well, the next sticky note. Oh no. You really should figure out how to better word these phrase these questions, but 
<laughs> yeah, but I see, I, I get it because I know, you know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Did it say something about rescheduling? No. No. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Pass. Got a drink. It said, it said Wednesday or Thursday. There was no time. Okay, I was close. Like she was rescheduling because she's like, oh, obviously that didn't happen. <laughs> question mark, question mark. <laughs> okay, my last question on the show. It was a very, sh- I mean, it's a short episode, short sitcom. Yeah, they are. They're quick. They're like 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, since the roommate bought pizza, what is your favorite kind of pizza? Ooh, I love, if I'm like with a group of people, I want to make it easy. I'm like, love just some pepperoni, cheese and pepperoni. But if I'm going to like make my own, like have my own little pizza, I love some olives on there, some black olives um some sausage maybe and green peppers I love green peppers on pizza don't know why like a little bit crunchy yeah Yeah. (laughs) good (laughs) I'm boring I get cheese or hamburger oh hamburger's kind of cool people don't really get that a lot I can't do pork so so that's okay okay so back to claim to fame Yes. Um, who do you still talk to? So we all actually have a big group chat and all 12 of us are in it. And we talk, honestly, like no one lets it go like two or three days without someone saying something because it's either you know, either someone's up to something that we all know about, or it's someone's birthday, or we see someone's celebrity relative, like a, a photo of them somewhere, and we'll snap a pic, and we'll send it. Um, it's just a really fun, like, such a unique and, like, s- like special thing that connects all of us, and it has been so easy to stay in contact and friends with everyone. So we all still stay in touch on that little basis and then um actually still talk to a lot of our producers still because they like they also became such good friends with us in there too they were the reason we stayed sane and you know if we needed anything or just had to take a moment like a beat we could go to them and be like I'm a little overwhelmed just whatever you needed like they were there they don't just you know these tv shows don't just stick you like in a house all by yourself when they're like hey figure it out like you've got some really really good solid people in there with you that you don't see on camera so um yeah I guess the answer is I talk to everyone still (laughs) (laughs) that's good yeah okay is Frankie and Kevin in the, the group chat so unfortunately I don't have Kevin's number um I understand why but um (laughs) I do have Frank I do have Frankie's and he is in one of our big group chats because he was so sweet and reached out the day that the very first claim to fame um commercial ever came out and he got all of our numbers and he group texted all of us just to say congrats and that we all looked amazing and that he couldn't wait for the show to come out so yes Love him. Nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. Any fun behind the scenes stories? Um, I mean, there are so many. That's the thing about reality TV. And now that I can, now that when I watch other shows, I'm like that what they're showing is like 5% of what happened in the house. And it's understandable. They've got to fit it into like 30 minutes of a show. Um, so there were so many fun behind the scenes moments. One that was, so we have every Sundays off. So three Sundays we got to, the cameramen weren't there. Our producers just got to hang out with us. Um, one Sunday, they, the producers got um, some nail people, like some manicure and pedicure people to come to the house. And we all got to have pedicures and got to get our nails done. Logan got a pedicure. He loved it. I love seeing spa, spa Logan. So that was really fun. And then something that didn't make 
the final cut of the show at all was um, the final six of the six of us. Yeah, we did like a special like sort of funeral dinner for the six people that had already been eliminated. <laughs> and so each of us, like the six people, we wrote their names on a, on paper and put them in a hat and we all pulled one out. And whoever we did, we had to like cook or prepare something that like represented them. And we like, and then we all dressed in black and we went and sat in like the fancy dining room for the very first time. And we like had this really funny dinner and we had to like stand up and say like why we made this for this person. And I'm, I'm super bummed that that didn't make it, that none of that made it because it was really, really funny. We all like were in the kitchen for the first time together, like cooking together. Um, Louise like popped a, a bottle of champagne and we were all like terrified and all of us were like hiding under the counters and the tables. So yeah, lots of really fun behind the scenes moments that didn't make it to the screen. <laughs> so who did you cook for and what did you make? Yes, yeah, so I pulled X out of okay. the hat and um, a really funny conversation that I will like remember forever is we were all hanging out in the kitchen and we were talking about um, our favorite foods, like, you know, pretty normal. And um, it got to X and he was like, I just think, I wish that we could like take a pill or a vitamin that had like every nutrients, like, a meal pill, basically. He was like, I just feel like we, or him himself, he was like, I could get so much more done with my day and my life. It's like, I didn't have to stop and consume meals. And I was like, you're so cool and wacky and it's amazing. And so I went weird with it. And for, for X's <laughs> dish, I served everyone a multivitamin. <laughs> I literally didn't have to do anything. The producers were like, hey, what do you guys need for your uh, like family dinner tonight? And I was like, okay, Pepper's List, vitamins. <laughs> Luckily, Amara cooked some salmon and I actually steamed some broccoli too. Um, but Logan cooked ramen and somehow messed up the ramen. Logan, how, how do you do that? Ramen four, and how did I he think? That up? I think he might have pulled Brittany, and we wanted to do like a like a southern mac and cheese thing, but we didn't have any mac and cheese. I don't know. I don't know what his thought process was. You're gonna have to ask him. He's a silly man. Maybe he'll come um, on the podcast. He, he would love this. I know LC is gonna do it. She is. She ah! is. <laughs> yes. Yes. She'll, Maybe no, I she'll love this. Two together. That would be hilarious. We like a lot of the same shows and movies too. Um, but Logan actually, you know, the little like seasoning packets that come in ramen, the, he got the noodles out and, just, and threw those away. He thought they were like those little, the things that like keep stuff fresh. <laughs> Like in clothing, that little like. <laughs> yeah, the little like, yeah, like literally don't eat these, that little like jelly packet balls. <laughs> and we were like, where's the seasoning? And he's like, what? <laughs> I threw that away. <laughs> so we had to get it out of the trash. <laughs> so yeah, maybe that's why the, they decided not to put that in the show. <laughs> they were like, this is embarrassing for all parties. <laughs> <laughs> okay i have to bring this up um mm -hmm. and i cannot think of the, the name she gave but simone biles a sister yes <laughs> everybody knows who she was yeah <laughs> i mean tell me about that because i mean everybody knew obviously nobody hit it she mm -hmm. didn't say a whole lot we would accidentally call her simone like to her face in the house and we'd be like oh Louise. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, <What> girl. <laughs> Just because she'd be like, <laughs> everybody knows. Okay, everybody. everyone, I guess you're fuck me. <laughs> 
okay, so the games that you played, mm-hmm. were those fun for you? I mean, I forgot what your talent was for the first episode. Um, I made a, a cocktail. <laughs> I made a spicy margarita. And hey, it would have gone over a lot better, but the oranges and the limes that <laughs> production got me were so dry. Dry as hell. So like I'm I'm banking on like the juicy oranges to be like the main <laughs> like juice in my cocktail and they're just like like dust so and then they didn't show this but they were like hey once you make your drink you can like go give it to Kevin and Frankie like go give it to them and I was like oh, okay love that and the second I realized that these oranges were just duds I was like oh my god this is gonna be disgusting like it's just gonna be straight tequila and straight um whatever the orange liqueur is and I walked over and I gave it to Kevin and he took a sip and he was like, Ugh. he was like, Ugh. he was like, that's spicy. Like had to be all cute for camera. I'm sure he walked off stage and was like, what the actual fuck did I just doesn't, drink? Doesn't Nick have tequila? Does Nick have a tequila? I think Nick has a tequila. Well, they They didn't give me next tequila they gave me literally like a weird ass liquor bottle that had no label on it nothing i was like there there could be what there could be water in this yeah but it was just so like no label or anything no decoration it was just like here's a weird bottle (laughs) and here's another weird bottle with the orange stuff i was like okay Uh, so yeah, that was my talent. Ooh, bottom two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's better than Louise's talent of Say less. <laughs> We were stoked for her because she was so nervous to go do that. <laughs> so we were like rooting her on so hard. We were like, you got this. And so when she like made that basket, we were like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so what was your favorite game that you played on the show so weirdly my favorite game was the feelings challenge where again I ended up in the bottom two but (laughs) it's a reoccurring theme here um you made the final three and that's all that matters (laughs) but um that feelings challenge was just really fun because it's like kind of something that you at least me I'd seen before on other little like game shows. So when we like walked up to the pool and saw that we had like hidden little like podiums, I was like pretty excited. I was like, okay, this is like a game I've seen before that I would want to participate in. So that one was really fun. And then trying to think of another one that I really enjoyed. The spelling bee one where we had to jump in the pool. That one was really fun. And we of course, shot that on like the one rainy cold day that LA had while we were there. And the, the producers had like towels and everything ready to go for us, but it was just like literally the one day that wasn't like a poolside day. And we were like, okay, here we go. So, and those X were very was fun. wearing full clothes, like mm-hmm. toe, black. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We, we actually thought that X was like, um, like a plant for a second. We were like, he is so interesting and like a little bit spooky. And we were like, and he's like, he was very like to himself, the very, like the first couple days. And we were like, we don't know what's going on. And we, we thought that like any minute the producers or like the Jonas brothers were going to come in and just be like, just kidding like this guy's been like part of the show the whole time (laughs) but nope that's just how much of a character x is (laughs) he's great (laughs) he was very interesting to watch Mm -hmm. (laughs) so what was your least favorite game that you played Hmm. or i guess what was the hardest so the telephone challenge i thought that was going to be one of my favorites but 
that was hard. That was really that hard. Game. No. <laughs> both of our teams were like, both teams had their weaknesses for sure, but like the combination of, <laughs> I feel like Logan and I did a really good job for how ditzy both of us are. <laughs> but that game was just stressful like very stressful but i feel like you knew more pop culture than he did oh he for sure nothing. he knew absolutely no. nothing and it was hilarious no. to watch him try to figure <laughs> out clues i know he's i just he just knows his southern stuff <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay um so who are you closest to so right now I'm probably closest with Elsie, Logan, and Lark probably. I need to I need to text her. Sorry, Lark, I'm gonna text you. I love you. I did message them all on Instagram. <laughs> oh good. Lark is um very like non-social media, I feel. She's yeah, it's, like hers is hidden. So I but I was still mm-hmm. like message her. So Okay, good. I can even be like, hey, do the podcast. <laughs> I'll definitely um, tell all of them now after this. I'm going to be like, hey. <laughs> you could do a big group one too. I don't care. I'm up for Right. All. Oh, that would be so fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So after the show ended, mm-hmm. I did see on Instagram you were having dinner. Mm-hmm. Who all joined? Because I did see that um, Kiki joined. Yes. So our, again, our amazing producers, they, a couple days before um, wrapping up, they were like, Hey, like we are taking you guys out for like a fun wrap dinner. Like we'll take you somewhere. And for some reason we had like a weird inside joke about chilies <laughs> and yeah. And we were like, okay, I mean, we're like, gonna be these fun famous you know reality tv stars after this why not celebrate at the five star chilies in encino (laughs) so we okay i feel like chilies is one thing going to encino is something completely different (laughs) yeah that was a big part of the uh the experience was the fact that it was in encino but (laughs) uh because lc won she was like, can like, it was kind of just, just decided that the winners, like celebrity relative would hopefully join us for the wrap dinner and LC won. And luckily enough, Kiki lives in LA. So LC was like, can Kiki come to the dinner? Like, can she come? And they were like, well, yeah, duh. And so we like all meet up at the hotel that like the, I think it was the was it the final five that went to Chili's? Yeah, final five. Hey, come here. And um, we're all waiting down in the lobby to like get our Ubers and stuff. And LC goes, oh, uh, Kiki can just drive us. So Kiki gets there. She's like, yeah, like I drove my car here. Like, why don't I just take, so Kiki drove me, LC, Lark and Louise to the Chili's. Like I've been in Kiki's car. Like, it was amazing. No, Logan took an Uber with the producers. <laughs> he wrapped late, so he didn't get to ride in Kiki's car. You snooze, you lose. Right. Um, and so, yes, she joined us at the Chili's. It took them a while to get a table for 10. <laughs> Ready. Was it busy at Chili's? <laughs> I mean, kind of, for a Monday night. <laughs> And it's, you know. <laughs> they were like, they were like, oh shit, we weren't ready for 10 of you. Um, but we made it, we did it. And after the dinner, um, Kiki wasn't able to come out celebrating further with us because she's, you know, she's Kiki. She has call times, she has stuff to do. Right. Um, but she drove us, our same little group, to a fun little like roof rooftop bar where Frankie and more of our producers were so we also hung out with Frankie that night it was amazing the last Monday with everyone was so much fun Frankie seems like he's a lot of fun he is he's just like a classic like young 
just living it up. Just like he's the youngest Jones brother. Why he should be doing it all. <laughs> and he is. <laughs> I'm curious if they're going to bring you guys back for season two to like introduce games or whatever, just because you're the, I was, the OGs. Yes. So I, we kind of spoke briefly about that to our producers. We were like, please bring us back. Like, please, please, please. We love this so much. And at least, you know, me, I haven't heard anything yet, but um, I would love if they like had a like cocktail competition challenge and had me come in. <laughs> make make your spicy cocktail. Make, make the shittiest spicy margarita you've ever made. Pepper's going to try it. <laughs> I'd love to host that challenge. <laughs> you know what? I do have a cocktail for you. Yeah. So, um, I mentioned Western Sun before. Mm-hmm. Yes. And actually, so, I need to write that down so I don't forget. You do. So they, their regular vodka is really good. It's 10 times distilled. They get the corn out of Roanoke, Texas. It's bottled up out of the point, Texas. Okay. They also have 10 flavors that are just Jesus. the fruit. There's nothing artificial and no added sugar. Cool. At their distillery, I had a prickly pear jalapeno margarita. Mm. So you get that sweet, spicy mix. Yep. I love prickly pear. So good. You should totally try it. Prickly pear, spicy margarita. I will send love you that. the recipe. Oh, like you made it yourself? No, I didn't make it, but it's on the, <laughs> the website. <laughs> I'm lazy when it comes to cocktail. I'm like, damn. I enjoy having a cocktail oh. if I go out somewhere, but at home, um, right now, I'm drinking Sprite and their peach vodka. Ooh, yum. Their peach vodka okay, is really good. 10 flavors? Yes. So there's That's blueberry, which is my favorite, prickly okay. pear, lemon, lime, grapefruit, watermelon, raspberry, peach, cucumber. Oh. Raspberry? Did I say raspberry? I don't know. Yeah, there's Cucumber. 10. That's the one. That's awesome. Okay. I'm going to write them. I did write them down. Check. Are they like a big brand? Like, will I be able to find them at my liquor store? You should be able to. You know what? Okay. I'm for you real quick. Um, okay, cool. Because I know it's in 48 states. <laughs> the two is going to be Utah and somewhere weird. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. It sucks here so bad. <laughs> So did you grow up in Utah? Yeah. Okay. Park in Park City. Oh, okay. All right. See, are you still in Park City? Uh, I'm not. So I'm in Salt Lake, and that's just okay. thirty minutes. Okay. See, this is what I got to look up on <laughs> the website. I'll do a 50 mile radius just to be safe. <laughs> They're still like, no. It does say no. <laughs> yeah, it, I'm not seeing anything in Salt Lake. I can drive to, no, it's not going to be in Wyoming either. <laughs> you know what? I could check. I don't know. What city would you drive to in Wyoming? Uh, Cheyenne. Okay. See, I have no idea. No, I don't either. I'm just like, that's uh, <laughs> where I, I think the up, is. <laughs> I grew up between Texas and Vegas. You, Wyoming says no. Yeah. No, I, I don't go there ever either, but my parents would throw big parties when I was younger. And my friends still do this too, but you can't buy a keg in Utah. You can't Kegs buy a keg? A keg is illegal. Why is that illegal? The Mormons. You know what? Wait till they buy a brewery and then they'll be like, it's no, a- exa- exactly. The Mormons couldn't drink caffeine until they bought stock in Coca Cola. And then they were I like, thought it was ah. Pepsi. Yeah. Uh, they probably I in both no now. Idea. They're I- probably in both now. So it's like, it's fine. It's fine. You can- and we're just waiting in Utah here, too. We're waiting for, because weed is, um, hey, Audi, weed is medicinally legal, but not recreational. And I'm like, the second the Mormons buy cannabis stock, it'll be legal. It's gonna be it'll be legal in two seconds. And they'll be like, Sundays, free weed. <laughs> there is a way I could ship some to you. I mean, 
apparently that's a thing. No one like, unless it's like in a big crate, no one's checking. Uh, so what I did for friends of mine, I got the pool noodle and I shoved the mini bottles inside the pool noodle and then shipped it. <laughs> Wait, I love that. And I love those mini bottles too. Okay, wait, I'm going to give you my address. Will you send me a noodle? (laughs) I think I spent like 20 bucks and I just shoved it all in there. Yeah, I'll just message you. I'll be like, noodle. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) They do have a bucket of the minis. I don't know if they would. See, next time you're in Texas, you got to let me know. Okay. No, for sure. I'm going to come back real soon because we were there the, like the four days we were there right before Thanksgiving. It was like all sunny and then was rainy. It wasn't cold or anything. It was still in like the mid 60s. We were able to walk around and have fun. But like everyone was like, oh, you're, like you're, you're not there on a good time. And I was like, it was still great. But I want to come when it's like actually vibrant and sunny and, and you're hot. Sweating. And humid, yeah. <laughs> so why did you go down there anyway? So my boyfriend has family there, his dad's side. Okay. Yeah. And they've, I think, lived there for like a really long time. They have a beautiful house in West Lake. That's like the neighborhood just outside of Austin. I think it was called that. Lakeway? West Lake. Okay. See, I don't know Westlake. I know Lakeway. Westlake. Okay. It's like. I feel like that's in Dallas area. That's why I'm. Oh, it's just a little bit. No, and it's like it's not Westlake, like the like the city. It's like literally a neighborhood. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But it was it was great, and we stayed. Our Airbnb was literally like on a tiny street right behind Six Six Street. So like we we had fun. Did you go to the speakeasy that's downtown? I don't we did definitely didn't go to a speakeasy. <laughs> okay. You'll have to go to that one next time. Yeah, we only had kind of one like bar hopping little night and we were exhausted. So I didn't get as crazy as I wanted to. We were with family, okay? <laughs> well, see, come for the TV festival and then we'll just have a, a lot of fun. Fuck yeah. When is that again? What month? Um, June. Oh, June. Oh, it's nice June. and hot. I know. Your favorite. I already got my ticket. <laughs> I think it's June 1st through the 4th. Okay, cool. So it's a Thursday, ah. Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday. Cool. Yeah. I'll send you the info. Yes. Drop it's me that link. <laughs> this is, I've gone since 2011. Oh, nice. I missed the very first year. I've been to... Oh, so it just, okay, it started in 10? I think so. It hasn't so. been going on that long. That's cool. Kind of a fresh fest. Next year will be their 12th season. Cool. Right. Yeah, I've never done anything like that. You said that they like bring the, like, sometimes the cast of shows and they do like a little panel. Yeah, so uh, the first year I went was because Boy Meets World had a reunion. Okay. Um, there was also... American Dreams was a reunion they had with Brittany Snow. Um, there was a party of five reunion. Okay, I haven't seen that, there. but. <laughs> I haven't either. I just went for Lacey Javert. Um, <laughs> I love that. What else was there? One year it was, they showed, um, Will Ferrell did a Lifetime movie, like a spoof on one. I know. Okay, I was going to say, like, he definitely did that because he was, like, making fun of that. <laughs> it was with, um, oh, dead to me actress. Um, I can't the brunette? No, not Lynn. Yeah, Kennedy. I'm so bad at her name. The other one. Oh, Christina Applegate. Christina Applegate. So they did a movie together. There was a spoof. So okay. they showed that, and then he showed up afterwards. Wait, that's amazing. I love Christina Applegate, and I love dead to me. So good, so good. I finished it. Did you watch the, the finish? Oh, I yeah. bawled my eyes out. <laughs> Crying. Crying. <laughs> I was like, why did Judy die? <laughs> I don't know if she actually <laughs> was so did. Sad. <laughs> I know. It was like um, up to no. us. <laughs> she they, did. <laughs> yeah, they premiered some shows like Guilt. Um, 
What else do they do? Um, Whiskey Cavalier. Did you watch that show? No. What is that? It was okay. from Bill Lawrence that did Scrubs and yeah. So and Cougar Town, but it's with Scott Scott Foley, and it's like an FBI show. Okay, yeah, the name like, like sounds kind of familiar. What um, network is it on, or what? It was on Hulu or an ABC. I don't know if it's still on Hulu, okay. but I really liked it. And then they the name sounds so familiar. Ugh, why do they do that? I don't know. It was a great show. And I was, so they did a Scrubs reunion this year at the festival. And I asked, I went up to the, the mic and I was like, Hey, I have a question for you. And he's like, this is exactly how I wanted this to go down. And I was like, I have to know what happened for season two of Whiskey Cavalier. And he's like, meet me afterwards. I'll tell you. Well, the panel went so long <laughs> that I never got to find out because they had a no, rush. No, there was no after. <laughs> I'm still waiting to find out. But hopefully I'll find out soon. Yeah, you. I mean, they owe you that. <laughs> right. Um, I think they're supposed to be doing a Cougar Town reunion at some point. Um, they had a panel last I, this past year for um, just different um, writers, comedians that like... Uh, Ed Helms was there. Um, Love him. <laughs> the guy that, and I cannot think of his name right now, but the guy that created um, uh, Grand Crew. I don't know that. Okay, watch it. Love Gray it. and Crew? Grand Crew. It's on NBC. Okay. So I, I think this is kind of like Friends in a way, but with wine. Oh, love that. And I also have, I'm familiar, like I know Cougar Town, but I never watched it. Oh, you should watch Cougar Town. But I love, it's Courtney Cox, right? Yeah, I watched and it during the pandemic. Just binged it. <laughs> yes, it's a great show. So uh, you, you know what I binge? And maybe that will be my next show. <laughs> no, you're going to hate me. The Simple Life with Paris and Nicole. <laughs> oh, I don't hate you for that. I thought you were going to say, you know. <laughs> Oh, no. Tiger King. Oh, uh, no. I didn't even watch the second season of that. I'm like, isn't it done? I didn't watch the second <laughs> season. No, The Simple Life, yeah. that was a good show. It was... It was okay, fun. and Paris, Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie are the funniest girls in the entire world. Nicole Richie, I watched that show. That was my pandemic binge. I was like, okay, I'm just going to watch. Even if it's 11 a.m., I'm going to shut all the blinds and turn all, <laughs> off all the lights and watch Simple Life. And I'm like, okay, Nicole Richie knows she's fucking funny. Like she should have been a comedian. Like she is <laughs> so sarcastic, so dry, such a bitch. Like she's so funny. <laughs> I'm like, she is a genius. So that they show is good. They made a ton of money from that show. Yeah, as they yeah. should have. <laughs> and now she's this big clothing designer. Yeah, and Paris is like shutting down all these horrible schools. Speaking of, she did you watch that the to, documentary? So I I haven't watched the documentary, but I follow her very closely on like what she's doing because that school that she got like shut down is here in Utah. So that's where she, she was here in Provo, going to one of those schools that like fucked her up real bad, and she came out here a couple of years ago, like to the the capital and like got the whole like a bill passed and everything and I just think she is so kick-ass I've met her parents before my parents were good friends with her parents <laughs> so cool. I'm a huge I'm a huge Paris Hilton fan when any anytime someone would say anything bad about her you know being ditzy or like anything like that I'd be like you need to shut your mouth because <laughs> you I know she's not just, I think that's just a bit she, that she does 100 she's a genius is what she is <laughs> probably minus yes. sex tape but yes hey that was part of it <laughs> <laughs> that was part of it <laughs> now she's a dj and making a ton of yeah where she's she's in everything she's like i do this i do that so do and your parents hilarious. your parents still hang out a lot or so no so apparently my dad dated Kathy Hilton her mom when they were like you know youngins um and I'm like that's hilarious and then my grandma Dean's um wife would throw really amazing um Christmas parties after Dean had passed and so my sisters and I 
got to go to several of them and the guest lists were just that you know Kathy Kathy Hilton um I got to meet I talked about this on claim to fame I met Bob Saget and um oh my god why do I always forget his name John Stamos I met them they they walked into the house at the exact same time and I was like seven years old and I was like oh my god like I'm on an episode Joey (laughs) yeah I was like am I on tv like (laughs) like what so um yeah just got to meet some very 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 cool people when I was really young (laughs) I have a lot of those stories like oh my mom's like oh you've met him oh, you've met them. You've met her. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Was I three? She's like, yeah. (laughs) I'm like, okay. By the way, I really enjoyed the story you told about your grandfather and going to dinner at his favorite Italian restaurant. (laughs) Isn't that cute? And apparently there there are photos of that that exist, but I don't know where and how to (laughs) access them at all. But yeah, that's a that's a fun story that my my mom loves to tell. She's like, you had no teeth and he had no teeth. <laughs> you just were loving on spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other fun stories about your grandfather? <laughs> Sorry? Do you have any other fun stories about your grandfather? Uh, let's see. I don't know if this one made it onto the show, but um, how he, uh, Dean would have actually I think it did Dean would have really big parties and at the end of the night when he was super tired and over it and wanted to go to bed he would go up to his room and he would call the police and pretend and pretend to be a next door neighbor and be like oh these people next door having like a loud party like will you please go and like shut the party down (laughs) and so the police would come they'd be like sorry party's over and he'd like stand at the top of the stairs like oh whoops guess what party's (laughs) over I guess you all have to go home (laughs) so I love that something I would do for sure all right well thank you so much oh my god you are so welcome thank you (laughs) I hope you come back soon I would love to I will definitely talk to Logan and Elsie and Lark and see if they want to do a a group something a group so yeah <laughs> i feel like we should do horror films just for lc she oh you exactly let her pick one if i haven't seen it i'll watch it and i'll be obsessed because she's <laughs> she knows the good ones sadly i've already done the goonies uh, she had just gotten a fresh goonies tattoo when we got into the house and we were all like bugging over it we were like hmm, is that a clue <laughs> Oh, we did hear about your tattoo on the show. Mm -hmm. I know. And I've yet to show it. I would show you right now, but I'm wearing a onesie. Oh yeah. That would be hard. (laughs) Um, um, Yeah. (laughs) Put a big sensor. It's okay. Mine are hidden as well. Well, hidden on my thighs. So it's kind of hard to. Yeah. (laughs) You got to drop, got to drop trout. It's not good. (laughs) I do have a Vegas tattoo though. Oh, I love that. Yeah. The Vegas sign. It's a sign. I'll send you a photo. It's a sign, but it's um with three casinos inside it instead of just like the white background. Cool. I t- I put a lot of thought into my tattoos before I get any. Love that. I do not. <laughs> I waited two years to get both of them. Like I Love thought that. about and that's, Yeah, my first couple had had some thought to them. I mean, my first was my that's memoria tattoo. I was 17. My mom had to take me. <laughs> well and that has a lot of meaning to it so yeah it does and yeah I didn't get to talk about this on the show but the lady who tattooed me she so we walked into one tattoo parlor that has like two locations and my mom told the guy she was like yeah my daughter wants um that's amore on like on her somewhere and he goes that's amore he's like is that that like that Dean Martin song And she was like, yeah, it's actually like, she's actually Dean Martin's granddaughter. And he like freaked out and he was like, hang on one second. And he like called the other location and he was like, okay, you guys need to go like a couple blocks down the street and ask for Deb. He was like, he didn't say why he was just say, ask for Deb. She's going to do your tattoo. And we get down there and we meet Deb and we tell her like what I want and everything. And she has Dean, his face tattooed on her forearm with a bunch of other famous people too. Yeah. But she was just like, I love him. And so she, like, she became my tattoo artist, like right there. And she's done all of mine. 
since then. That's cool. How many do you have? I have 11, but they're all like, like that. Like, what the hell is that? (laughs) Like, (laughs) like some of them are really, really silly. So (laughs) it's okay. I have, I have two, but they're both big. Okay. Yeah. Did you have to sit for a long time? Um, one, the first one I think took an hour and a half. Okay. Uh, I only have one color tattoo and it's that maybe. one. Both are minor color. Cause I feel like okay. if I'm going to do one, I want full color. Okay. But this one's like small and that one took like an hour and a half. I'll, you know, hold on. I mean, I'll pull it up. Okay. So my favorite movie of all time is mm-hmm. Clue. Is what? Clue. Clue. With Tim Curry and Madeline Kahn and Christopher Lloyd and Leslie and Warren. I feel like I have seen that. I mean, you should have. If you haven't, you should go watch it right now. No clue. And why does that sound like? I think it's based on the board game. Doing my research. Okay, so here it is. So I definitely have it. Okay, you should go watch it, but that's my tattoo. Okay, cool. That's from the movie. That's from the movie. It's like the pieces. It is. I love that. (laughs) (laughs) And that's on your leg? It's it's down my thigh. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's big. It's like nine inches, yeah. (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) I realize when people ask, did it hurt? My thing is, get a tattoo on a fatty area. It doesn't mm-hmm. hurt as bad. Mm-mm. The bone, bone muscle is what hurts. These on my fingers yeah, hurt do that. so bad. It took like four seconds, but I was like, oh my God. The Vegas tattoo took about three hours. Ugh. And I was at the end, I was like, I'm getting really hot. Can I have some water? <laughs> I'm really hot. So I'm pain. getting kind of my vision's getting spotty. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you a, have an IV? It was like, I mean, it's like that big on my thigh. It's mm. a pretty big tattoo. Yeah. We're just like, let me induce a bunch of trauma onto one spot of my body real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I got it pretty early on the trip, so I couldn't go swimming or anything. It was kind of it's fine. It's fine. Because I did it when I went to Vegas. You got a new tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Love it. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. I loved this. This was amazing. <laughs> it's fun, right? Just drinking yeah. and about a TV show or a movie. And like the perfect pregame for the rest of the night. Big plans for the rest of the night? No, but now Not I have drinking. an excuse. Drink more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh-oh, I have to go to a bar now. <laughs> in your onesie. Please oh, go duh. to in your onesie. I will. And I have a Santa hat somewhere around here that I'm going to pop on. <laughs> you should. <laughs> I think I stole it from the Walmart. So <laughs> the Mormon Walmart. Okay. Yeah. The tweaker Walmart. Oof. Oh, we have one of those here in town too. Okay. Yeah. By the campus. Okay. And Ours is not. <laughs> I wish it was by the campus. I don't know why. I mean, pre COVID. Pre COVID. Ours are by the our bars are by the train tracks. <laughs> oh. You know, <laughs> yeah. oh, but the train track hours. Walmart. <laughs> this was the only Walmart that wasn't 24 hours. And it was oh, yeah, by campus, which makes no sense. You're right. It should be. What were but they now doing? they all close at like 11 o'clock anyway, but you know. Bad marketing. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, yes, we'll do this again soon. Yes. When do you usually um, like get these up in? posted or whatever or i try to i release an episode every tuesday okay lovely so i have two ready to go but if i can get this one out i'll release it tuesday if not it'll be the next tuesday okay perfect just keep me posted for sure (laughs) awesome thank you so much have a good night (laughs) sometimes i get better at singing and sometimes it feels a lot